We are at Cedia 2022. I'm here at the SVS booth with Larry. Man, we have had an incredible event so far. Larry, we've had a great relationship oh, yeah. over the past probably four years. I've reviewed a lot of your products here on the channel. I love what you guys stand for, and I'd love for you to kind of share with us what you have to offer here at Cedia 2022. Yeah, so that's awesome. We're great to have, or really excited to have all of you guys part of this. You know, it's been a great relationship, like you said. Yeah. And today, what we're showing at the booth, we've been here for a couple days. This is our first ever Cedia. Nice. So we've been really excited. And the way we're showcasing our brand is kind of introducing people to some of the products we make. We have a, a big old tower of our subwoofers over here. We've got a couple of our tower speakers behind us showing off some of our accessories. But really the way we're using the show is to introduce people to brand new product that's gonna be shipping next month. And then a uh, little something else that's coming later this year. And I think we'll show that to you all right now. Oh, let's do so, it, man. We're gonna have some fun. Let's yeah. do it. So what we've got right here in front of us is the brand new SVS Prime Wireless Pro powered bookshelf. And some of you may be familiar with the previous model, the Prime Wireless. Yep. This is a huge update to that product. Cool. And we've taken a lot of feedback and personal thoughts about that product and really delivered on a complete solution here. So this category, the wireless speaker space, has been dominated for years by Bluetooth speakers, small speakers, you know, the background music, the hey, play queen in the living room type stuff sure. coming out of a little pod. Yeah. And we wanted to change that experience all the way around. So this product, the whole story here is all about sound. The quality, the immersive experience, the sitting down and listening to your favorite tunes, and a great two-channel solution. So the Prime Wireless Pro, just at the heart of it, sounds amazing. And then when you offer in everything that this thing has inside it, we've got four 50-watt Class D digital amplifiers to power nice. each driver. Yeah. So each driver, the tweeters are both getting all getting 50 watts. Then on the back, we have a very impressive jack connectivity pack. We've added HDMI 2.1a with eARC, so this is a real soundbar alternative. Included, whoop, I'm oh, throwing it. There's your blooper reel. Remote. So there we go. That is our IR remote for this as well. So you can absolutely hook this up to your television and use the TV remote or use our included remote and it would work that way too. Then on the back, there's optical connections, analog left and right, mini connections. So if you still have a Zoom laying around, you can plug that into the 3.5 millimeter jack. We have an active subwoofer out. So when you do plug a subwoofer into these guys, they automatically set up a crossover internally and then you can adjust your subwoofer accordingly to make it happen. So that takes like a lot of the guesswork and the calibration out of it. You're doing it for them. Totally. This, nice. this is literally plug and play. You Love set it. it up and a couple different ways you can connect it in regards to use. After all the, the, the connections you have on the back, you get this thing on your network and that's where the magic starts to happen. So on the back, you also have an Ethernet in and out. So if this is next to other devices, you're hardwired, you can keep that nice. and bridge that connection. Sweet. Or you can just simply put it on your Wi-Fi and when you get on your Wi-Fi, that's where the capabilities of this thing open up. So everybody's familiar with Bluetooth. We have Bluetooth, but we want that to be the last possible option on this because we want this to be simple for everyone in your family. So when you get this on your network, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can simply open up your Apple device if you have a phone or a tablet sure. and get it on your network under your wireless network settings, you'll see add an AirPlay speaker. And nice. Boom, there's the prime wireless product. Easy. So it takes nothing to get it on your network. And when you do that, you open up the universe. And what I mean by that is you can take anything you're used to listening to on your phone, YouTube, Facebook videos, uh, you, Air, uh, Apple Music, Kobas, Amazon Music, whatever, and just use the AirPlay functionality. Or if you have an Android device, use Cast and stream directly from your device. And that would give you 16-bit, high quality nice. stereo sound. But for those of us that want something a little bit more, this product also has a 24-bit, 192 kilohertz DAC inside it. So you can play your true high-res music files from your streaming services or that are stored on your home devices and listen to those in all their glory of high-res and take advantage of that through the DTS PlayFi app. Yeah. And under the PlayFi app, that's where you're introduced to multi-room, multi-zone capabilities. And that's where this really kind of differs from the other products in this space, is it's all about stereo sound in various parts of your home. And you can use the app to set up zones, mm -hmm. do an upstairs, do a downstairs, gotcha. do your television, anything you'd like to do in that realm. And because it's under the PlayFi umbrella, it will communicate with a lot of other products. Gotcha. So you can have five pairs of these sitting around your house, a nice. bunch of our sound base amplifiers sitting around the house, Pioneer Onkyo uh, branded receivers that we'll talk to it too, sure. and quite a few more. But really, we just want people to have an amazing experience. 
And when you look at the front panel, we've kind of made that a little bit easier too. So what we've added versus the previous product, you will see a full OLED multi-line display here and you'll see the volume indicator come on there. You can dim that too for those of us that don't like a lot of bright lights in our sure. space, but you can take care of that. And then you'll also see those six buttons at the bottom. And the six buttons can be presets that you can access. If you think about driving around in your car, you have six local radio presets. Mm -hmm. These are presets that can be one of your Pandora playlists, a Spotify playlist, Got a Tidal or Cobuzz playlist, iHeartRadio, radio station, whatever you want and you don't have to even touch your phone after you set that up initially. So you just simply walk up, hit a button, boom, in about 10 seconds you are listening to whatever that preset is. So it is a true solution that everyone in my house is using, whether it's the AirPlay functionality or the presets. And the fact that I come home at the end of the day and my 11 year old's in there with his iPad <laughs> streaming they know YouTube how to do it. It with the it AirPlay, yeah. it, it's, been a, it's been a really cool experience to see at home. Super cool, and they're beautiful. I love the, the shiny gloss black finish, but I think you got another one here too. We right? do. So uh, right down here below you, we have our white oh, yeah. Check Prime this out. Wireless Pro. And this will give you a chance to see the jack pack too. So let me turn off the grill, or take off the grill, so you can see what we've done from the previous model. We went from a four and a half to a five and a quarter inch driver. We kept the same one inch tweeter, but we've arranged the DSP on the inside a little bit differently. And then on the back, We've moved where the port was up to the top, made a little bit larger, and you can see the jack pack on the back with the HDMI, the optical connections, and everything we talked about previously. So nice. this is a, it's a really big upgrade over the previous model, and right now it's my favorite thing that our company has made. So Larry, I'm really I love for this. I love seeing like I've watched your company for four years. You keep innovating. You keep providing products that your consumers want, and the things that they're asking for. So we've got some cool two-channel setup. You can do multi-room. We got some of my favorite stuff over here, some subwoofers. Can oh, we take yeah. a look at that? Yeah, let's go jump over there. So uh, what we've got over here is, uh, we've just kind of affectionately called this the Tower of Power. Oh, and this showcases man. almost every sub in our lineup. Starting at the bottom, we climb up the ladder, going from our 16 Ultra Series. And due to height restrictions here, we don't have the 4000s right. in here. We go from our 16 Series, to our 3000, to the 2000 Pro, to the 1000 Pro, and then finally the micro on the sealed side. And this is even cool just to be able to physically see, okay, how do these, you know, physically compare to each other? Absolutely. Because a lot of people have space limitations with these sealed configurations. You can get a smaller cabinet, really great punch. I've reviewed most of All those. All of them, right? Yeah. I had four of these on the channel. We've had the PB16, uh, we've had the PB3000, so yeah. lots of great stuff. SB. PBs. And in the PB, yeah, and this gives people a chance to really see the yes. difference. Because I don't think, most of our retail partners don't display the ported models yeah. because of their physical size. Yeah. Well, Larry, so, when this showed up for the first time, this was my first experience with a what I would consider a real subwoofer. And it showed up at 175 pounds, oh yeah. monster. Uh, somebody commented, they said, I've never seen somebody unbox by climbing through the box and pushing. I, it's so cool, I, I joke, I mean, these things are big. Man. I, I joke, I, I brought home an SB16 Ultra a few yeah. weeks after buying a new dishwasher. Sure. You know, a couple years back and my kids are asking why did you get another dishwasher yeah. because the box is almost the same size and it's cool the way it's designed once you get it in your room with the 16 series or the 4000 series they're a one-man job and I know that sounds weird when something's 150 and 175 pounds sure. but you open it up like gull wing doors you get down on your hands and knees and the products are actually on skis yeah. so you can just slide them right out nice. and like I said get on your hands and knees and push it around so sure it's a really so great design maybe talk through maybe a little bit about sealed ported yeah what are, absolutely. what are some differences there for those that are kind of considering which one should I go with in their home so theater or yeah, we, when we discuss sealed versus ported, we don't do a ton of one is better than the other for a particular application because with all of our ported subs, you can do both yeah. and we'll get into that. Sure. But typically when we're looking at these, you'll see that the ported subs are significantly larger. They're about 60% larger overall and that's due to the frequency tuned ports, uh, the things we have to add to give more cabinet volume to the yeah. ports as well. So sometimes you can eliminate that whole conversation just based on space. But if space isn't really an issue, you know, the sealed subs, we sell a majority of sealed because one of the phrases we love to say is sealed do everything great and nothing poorly. So they're fantastic for music, movies, gaming, daytime, nighttime, listening, and everything. And you can do multiples to take on larger spaces. 
but if you are trying to create that amazing over-the-top IMAX level experience, you're probably going to want to go ported. That's what's used in movie theaters. They do dig just a little bit deeper and they are quite a bit louder at similar settings. So what that really benefits you in your home is you can pressurize a room a little bit easier, but if you do have maybe an open concept living room, and you can fit one of our ported subs, it will take on that larger space a little bit easier. So my living room is open to kitchen and dining. I use a ported subwoofer downstairs. In my smaller rooms, I tend to use our sealed subwoofers sure. and just kind of play around with the placement and they really take that off quite a bit. Yeah. But one of the perks, so if you are a person that loves listening to music and all the articulate sounds that come from, you know, bass guitar, drums, things like that, our ported subs kind of give you the best of both worlds because you can get that quick, tight, amazing bass by sealing up the subwoofer. And that's something that comes with all our subs. We give you these great foam plugs. You just pop in there and then you get into our subwoofer control app, which is on every single model. And you can turn the subwoofer from ported to sealed. So when you want to have those nights where you're watching a movie and you want that shake in the entire house, you can totally do that. But if you're after that little bit more refined speed, yeah. you can plug that up and turn it into a sealed sub. And what you get is actually a larger sealed cabinet. So there are some perks to that too. Yeah. It's a lot of fun to do. I love how you pretty much have something for everybody, regardless if you got an apartment, you got a small bedroom, you got an office. Man, these would be fantastic. They're for office, office yeah. setup, two channel setup there. If you got a movie theater room, literally, I've seen guys that have had each one of these in their home theaters and they absolutely perform. And one thing I really appreciate about SVS is you have an app that is just phenomenal. Pretty much the best one that I've seen on the market to, to kind of help with your subwoofer. Maybe speak to a little bit yeah. on that. So the app-based control was something we introduced with the 16 Ultra years ago when it came out. And now we've trickled it down to every single product. And I think that's something else that we like to talk about too, is that whether you can't fit or can't afford something in our lineup or whatever, the experience is the same for every user. So you get the app and every product is built the exact same way too. So that's something we take a lot of pride in is everyone gets the SVS experience. But when you look at the app-based control, there's a lot of things you can do inside it. You can and make all fine-tuned adjustments. If you've ever set up a subwoofer on a home theater before, you're thinking, just a few years ago I had to get up, and even with some other products today, you get it set and you're like, that's not right. So you gotta get up and you gotta walk over and bend behind there. And you know, if you, if you got you know, a little extra weight from all the cooking you do at home and stuff, that you know, it's a little difficult to do. Or if you're looking at a subwoofer this size, they're hard to maneuver. Yeah. So with the Bluetooth control app, you can there and fine tune everything. The volume, low pass, phase, you can set up parametric EQs if you need, play with the curves. But my favorite aspect of it is the presets. I tend to not use a lot of the other stuff that's in the app, but within the presets, you can save listening presets based sure. on your favorite things. Nighttime listening when the wife's in bed, adjust the volume and crossover, whatever you want to do yeah. with that. Absolutely, so mine, like downstairs in the living room, we have a movie preset, a TV watching preset, and a nighttime preset. And we can all toggle it with the app. If you happen to have our 16 Ultra or 4000 series, they have IR on the front, you can save those presets into your remote macros and that's kind of cool too. So when you hit watch movie, everything switches and your TV goes, or your subwoofer goes to the movie mode or anything like that. But when you save those presets, it allows you to come back and you don't have to make a lot of adjustments later. Now, in my office where I have the 2000 Pro and a Micro on two different systems, I have presets based on movie and music listening. And when it's on music, I'm not using the crossover path from the subwoofer, the LFE. Gotcha. I'm using the adjustments inside the subwoofer physically, so I'm changing the low pass filter there. Sure. So it's totally different. Really and versatile. It yeah. really makes it easy to use. So it's, it's truly fantastic. And it's on every single product from $5.99 up to $28.99. Super cool. And we got different finishes too. You can get gloss, you can get um, your wood finish. So yep. whatever works for you. Larry, we got some more great products over here, so let's take them over there and show them what you got there. I'll show there. you a couple more new items too. So we'll go over here and I'm gonna introduce you to our Soundbase Pro okay. and our new in-wall subwoofer. All right, Larry, what do we have here? So this is another product that's part of the Prime Wireless Pro family. So we just introduced you to the speakers a moment ago. This is called the Prime Wireless Soundbase Pro Amplifier. And the Soundbase Pro Amplifier has all the same feature set as what we talked about with the speakers, but here, instead of being its own ecosystem inside speakers, you supply the speakers, or we can supply the speakers. Sure, absolutely. And this is just a phenomenal two-channel amplifier. 
And with that, you get a 300 watt Class D digital amplifier, 150 watts by two, which is enough nice, to really yeah. power anything. Sure. Uh, we've got it connected with our Ultra bookshelves here. We've had it on our Ultra towers, some other manufacturers, very large towers, right. bookshelves, however you choose. I've got them on a pair of Prime towers at home as well. It's just a really functional two channel experience. But where this one kind of differs from the Prime Wireless Pro is this is a product we're going to see a lot of people putting in a closet, maybe three, four, five, six, ten of these guys okay. to power an entire whole home worth of audio. Yeah. Because this is an integrated amplifier that can also rest on your network like the Prime Wireless Pro speakers. So you put this on your network and you can have a uh, each each one of these be a zone, like one power your outdoor speakers, yeah, sure. one power your kitchen and dining, another one do speakers in your patio or yeah. wherever you're going to be putting them. And you just name them as such, and then you get into the DTS PlayFi app, or use AirPlay 2 okay. to do multi-room, multi-zone, and stream them everywhere. But one of the other benefits of this product is that it's not just an amplifier, it's also a streamer. Oh, so nice. if you have an existing product that you would like to bring high-res streaming onto, sure. maybe you've got a downstairs living room, that you've had the receiver for a few years, and it doesn't have all the high-res streaming services that you use, right. and you're tired of using Bluetooth, and you want to get some high-res, this is how you do it. So you would connect to this, and then on the back of the amplifier, there are left and right audio outputs okay. that you would then jack into your existing system. And now this is just another source component nice. with all the high-res capabilities. But one of the fun aspects of that too is the speaker outputs are also active at the same time. Okay. So you could use this to run a pair of speakers outside and then have a line level out going to gotcha. another zone maybe Check or that to that yeah. receiver. And it's also got a headphone jack on the front too. So if this is maybe a tabletop sure. or a desktop, desktop solution, you've got that. Uh, and then for those people that are going to be putting this in a rack, in a closet or anything, we've put an IR extender input on the back so you can still take advantage of all the remote options because like the Soundbase Pro, this does have the remote capabilities. This does have uh, HDMI 2.1 with eARC, okay. the front panel display, the presets and everything we talked about too. So you've got all of that right here in this package. And once again, this will be launching at the end of the month. Nice. And I don't think we even hit on pricing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I meant I didn't mention that the Prime Wireless Pro speakers are going to come out at eight ninety nine for the pair. Gotcha. Awesome. Which is going to sit next to stuff that are three and four sure. times that price. And you've and got all the connectivity. You got all, all the built in. And then this one's going to come out in the uh, six ninety nine price range. Right. So we're going to be in the seven hundred dollar ballpark, just like some of those other guys that are in this space, but with a lot more options, connectivity. Yeah. Uh, power and uh, more functionality too. So. Honestly, I've never reviewed this, so that definitely might be something that I'd, that'd be cool to make some content for you guys. And, yeah, it's uh, a great product. I've, yeah. I've had the existing pieces around the house forever uh, since we've had, you know, this has been a, a four-year-old category for us, sure. and now we're just kind of revamping it a lot, but yeah. you know, I've got them on the bedroom. That's what I power. I have a pair of Ultra bookshelves in my sure. bedroom in lieu of a sound bar, yeah. and this is what's connected up to my TV, just over an optical yeah. cable. And whenever we're watching TV, we do that. And so it's it's great. And what you get here is a little more control than the Prime Wireless Pro speakers sure. because the subwoofer output here is fully open. Gotcha. So the other one sets up a crossover on the speakers. It doesn't do that here. Sure. So you can still run your speakers at full range and then just adjust your subwoofer accordingly. Nice. And since we're talking about subwoofers, I, I think we may need to introduce you all to something else. So, Hold yeah. Hold on. Right, you got my attention. Okay. So, We've been teasing this next product for a while. Yeah. It's not a secret yeah, yeah. by any means because yeah. I think we've been talking about it for about two years. Yeah. But during the last two years, we have been evolving our newest product. And it's our first entry into custom integration. Oh, yeah. Architectural so, so people that want products. something. All right, I don't want this big, massive PB16 in my living room like my wife. My wife told me no subwoofer in the living room. You can have towers, that's fine. No subwoofers. I might be able to. Now get we her might in. have a solution for you. <laughs> I so like this. if we could give you the like SVS this. experience cool. of our box subwoofers, okay. but maybe we can hide them in a wall. Would gotcha. that interest you? <laughs> Possibly. That's what we're I, doing an infomercial now. What I, what I may do is I may install it. And just oh, she'll watch this video. Never mind. She'll see. Yeah. It. <laughs> so we just tell her not to watch. So this what one. are we looking at? Eights and so, tens. Well, let's see if we can uh, turn your camera that way just a little bit. Oh, we will swing cool. around all right. and introduce you all to the new oh. 3000 in-wall subwoofer. Now, this is I a like dual nine saying. configuration here. So we have two nine inch subwoofers inside the cabinet. 
and you heard me say 3000. So yeah. this is in the same category really? of the SB3000, PB3000, 3000 micro. So they all use the same amplifier. amplifier. Cause I reviewed that in my theater room. Absolutely love, even your sealed subwoofer. Holy cow. Tons I brought my son and I said, Jacob, you gotta listen to this thing. This thing is what, 12 by 12? Yeah, by 10 the or micro something. 11 by 11, yep. No, no, not the micro, oh, the 3000. The 3000, so 15 by 17 like, or so. But yeah. I mean, just tremendous output, so that's exciting. Yeah, so this has been a, whew, a while in the making. And part of it is we've been working on it and wanted to deliver an in wall subwoofer yeah. with the expectations of SV, SVS output. Sure without that exorbitant price that comes from this category. And so we, I don't have pricing on I'm it yet, excited, but it's going man. to be very attainable okay. for this space. So well, all of your products are. Yeah, and I that's mean, something we strive for. I mean, like the PB16, yes, that's what, 20? 28.99. Okay, so I mean, that's it's getting up there, but it's still affordable. Yeah, when you, you compare it to can the still space. save up yeah. for it, you can sell some stuff in your garage, you know, yeah. to help pay for it, but but that's super cool, and you've actually got an amp that, yeah. that so is your it, amp. It is the 3000 amplifier from the 3000 series, nice. and what we've done is made it a rack mount capable amp, or you can just put it with your components Okay. And this amplifier will run one of these, as okay. you see now, right. or capable of running two. Nice. So we're going to offer this in two different solutions. So as you see now, the Dual 9 with the amplifier will be one offering. Okay. If you think or you want Dual, you know, we're going to have a package with two of those okay. and the amplifier. Nice. And I want to just stress, this is yeah. not something you can buy the one okay. and you add later oh, gotcha. because the so subwoofers are wired internally. Okay, that makes sense. So we're, I have a feeling we're going to do a lot more duels I think than so. singles. I'm a big and fan. I've always recommended to you guys, if you can go duels, do it. Having them in the wall, there really isn't an excuse yeah. not to go other than you know the cost. But I mean, they're gone. They're not taking up any extra Absolutely. space. Usually people can't go yep. duels because I don't have any more room to place it in my in my space, but with that, boom, I love yeah, it. Yeah, you'll be able to throw these in a wall. Super you can cool. do new construction, existing construction. We're gonna have a rough-in kit for people that are building right now, okay. and that'll be out before the product. The goal is to have this out before the end of the year. Nice. But we wanna keep refining it and taking feedback, so Dude. don't hold me to that, but yeah, that, yeah. that's what we're shooting for. And the bezel, you'll see, has a really thin bezel. Yep. And then you'll see this bow out a little bit too. And part yeah. of the reason it's bowing out is because these drivers still have the SVS excursion. pretty good excursion, excursion. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can see it right here. It's a yeah. nice curve on the backside. Check that yeah. out. And it's all magnetic, nice. so it just sits right on there. Well, I probably won't do it there, will it? Oh yeah, okay. have at it. All right. Get it lined up nice, good, and Look boom, there. you're done. And it's, it's tight once it's on there because when we initially started working this product out there, some of our <laughs> partners saw this and it had a, a different bezel. Sure. And we had to do that because of the magnets and we found a way to change the bezel, give it a thinner bezel. What's up, part. buddy? There's guys. Nick. Love these so. guys. Yeah. Nick, good to Both see you, man. It's boat, okay. Hey, no. hey, Larry's doing an awesome job. Yeah. This is cool, Nick. I'm loving what I'm seeing here. And this is gonna have the app-based control like all of our other ones. We've nice. also included IR on this, like we did the okay. 16 and 4000 sure. series because we know this is gonna be offset somewhere. Yeah. So if you have one of those smart remotes, yep. you're gonna be able to incorporate that in there. And the Perfect. feedback on this has just been off the charts, so much so we got an editor's pick from Sound and Vision here at the show. Super, so super cool, This man. will be coming soon. The SoundBase Pro and the Prime Wireless Pro will be coming soon. Gotcha. And we're just gonna continue to evolve. You know, Dark part of our, our brand is to, to keep interacting. Yeah. Done that from the forum days yep. back in the day, which when we launched to yeah. You know, our Facebook interactions, our yes. broadcasts, and hanging out with you all, and yeah. you all at the other end too. We're gonna keep that going. Sure. You know, whether it's with these products, I can show you some of our accessories yeah. here too in just a second, and just see how our brand is evolving. Well, let's do that. So we've got some cool stuff over here we wanna show you as well. All right, guys, the dude that was photobombing us back there, I said, let's get you on camera. Let's talk about some of these cool accessories you got, Nick. Well, I couldn't miss the opportunity to, to hang with my man, Youth Man, yeah. here, and uh, we're having a lot of fun here at CDN. Yeah. I think a lot of people may not know SVS for accessories, but our SoundPath line has actually been one of the biggest and fastest growing part of our business because, you know, I think there's a real desire out there for something that's, you know, not that really sort of Amazon basic point A to point B, sure. maybe doesn't have the right shielding, the, the quality engineering, uh, but you also don't want that super premium price stuff exactly. where it's like, uh, you know, you're paying an arm and leg, it's costing more than your components. Yeah. Um, you know, and I think you probably have seen this. Cables are one of the most divisive things they, they in are. the world of audio files. I've seen $70,000 cables at a trade show. Yeah. 
And there's always that argument, like how much am I getting? What is the diminishing return yeah. on a $70,000 cable versus a $100 cable? That's so correct. what we've really tried to do is find that sweet spot where you know the prices are within reach of you know everyday people, but we still have that premium design and the uh, the nice look and feel that yeah. I think a lot of people like. You know, if you're gonna have cables, you want it to look decent. Yeah. Um, so you know, we have pretty much everything you need to connect uh, an audio system together, starting with our uh, SoundPath Ultra Speaker Cable. These have come out a, a couple of years ago. Really nice. You can get them Look custom that, lengths them. in uh, banana plugs or spades or bare wire. Uh, we have our balanced XLR cables. We have our SoundPath RCA, uh, also available in stereo. And this is actually our newest accessory. It's an HDMI 2.1A certified, so up to 8K. It's got all the latest specs that you would need to connect an 8K display. Uh, so they're sort of, uh, I won't say future proof, but future protected sure. at yeah. least for the next couple iterations. Yeah. And if you have a really old HDMI cable, you'd actually be surprised. Sometimes just switching that out can give you a little bit of extra uh, picture quality, a little bit extra crisp, crispness. Uh, sound quality can improve, so it works with Atmos and all the different latest codecs as well. Um, but it's it's one thing to consider if you're buying a, a next generation console sure. or TV. Sure, and we're talking super affordable. Absolutely, I mean, yeah. Thing. All of these are right around you know, $30, $40, $50, yeah. depending on the length that you're gonna get. They have all the shielding you would need, so completely impervious to inter interference and anything that's going to you know, disrupt the uh, quality or the, the signal yeah. uh, path. Um, and then of course we have our SoundPath subwoofer isolation key. And it's funny, we had somebody come in here today, he's like, I have these things on my speakers, on my turntable, on my amp. Anything that's susceptible to vibrational energy, these basically decouple it from the floor. So uh, all that shaking that you're getting from the pictures uh, on the wall or the knickknacks in the shelf uh, can be cleaned up by putting these on the bottom of your subwoofer and it actually takes that vibrational energy and puts it into the air so yeah. you might actually notice a little bit more punch a little nice. bit more output uh, when you add the isolation system and then we have our wireless adapters here uh, these work with subwoofers if you want to get rid of some cable clutter in your home theater you can connect these to your subwoofer and basically create a wireless experience uh, we have a tri-band version which is really optimized for uh, when you have a congested sort of wireless network, maybe you got cameras, a security system, the tri-band auto switches between three different bandwidths to make sure you're finding the most stable one and, and staying connected. And then we have our typical SoundPath wireless audio adapter, which just works on a single bandwidth, but will work in, uh, in non-congested areas. So all of these products are available now. Um, we'll have more accessories coming down the line, but we just want to make sure that we have a full solution for everybody to get connected uh, with all their audio products that they're buying, whether they're SVS or not. Well, Nick, like I said, we've been working together for four years. You were one of the original companies that invested in me as a small content creator. And you're like, man, we like what you do. And you were willing to send me some of your subwoofers. At one time, I had SB16, PB16, uh, Ultra Center Channel, Ultra Towers, all in my theater room. Y'all make some incredible products. I'm a firm believer you're after the consumer. You listen to your, your audience. I love what you're doing in the social media space with your, your happy hours. And if you guys aren't joining them on Facebook, they have a fun time. You give away tons and tons of, of free product too. And so I love what you guys stand for. I love your heartbeat. I love the passion that you have for home theater as well as music. And y'all are just putting out some really affordable but yet really high-end quality uh, components for consumers to enjoy. Well, I appreciate that, Michael. I mean, you've been a huge supporter for us, and I, and I think this industry needs more people like you because it proliferates, it grows. This is a hobby that's supposed to be fun, and it came from a place, I think, where like a lot of people were judgmental, and you have to have a certain budget to be an audiophile, but I think you're helping change that dynamic and that conversation to be more about the content and the fun, and we're also, embracing that as well. We want people to get into this. We want younger people to appreciate the joys of uh, audiophile sound quality and just getting into this at an early age because it's it's something that you can do your whole life and sure. you can start with like a little 2.1 system, build your way up to the youth man style home <laughs> yeah. theater or the end game. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it's all about the fun and, and if you're not loving what you're doing in this space and at Cedia, then you're just doing it wrong. Yeah, and I've always encouraged you guys to enjoy the journey. Well guys, we've got some more incredible content coming to you from CDA 2022. Super appreciated for Nick, for Larry, the whole SVS team. Make sure you follow them on social and we will catch you guys in the next video. Happy listening.